Today marks the last day of California's eviction moratorium, which kept renters who were struggling in their homes through the pandemic. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains that while some protections remain, new challenges are emerging. San Diego renters suffering a financial hardship have been protected from eviction since the beginning of the pandemic. But on Friday, California's eviction moratorium comes to an end. We're entering a transition period. San Diego attorney Gilberto Vera says while a landlord will now be able to evict a tenant for non-payment, they can only do so through March 31st if the tenant has not applied for rental assistance. The problem, the money is drying up in San Diego. The concern is that the non-payment of rent protections remaining are tied to the tenant applying and having a pending rental application for rental assistance and that the funds are available. The $13 million Mayor Gloria said was still available on Monday, now accounted for. And the Housing Commission says even if the City Council approves an additional $39 million at its meeting next Tuesday, it still won't be enough to cover the obligations. But landlords say the moratorium's end won't lead to a flurry of evictions. What renters need to know is not to be afraid of working with their housing provider and not to be afraid of submitting the information that's necessary to um, be eligible for the rental assistance program. There is help out there. Many renters can still be evicted at the end of their leases for no fault reasons, such as major renovations or an owner's intention to move back in. John Horn, ABC 10 News. And the Housing Commission says that it's working with the mayor's office to get additional funds for rental assistance. The agency says that the U.S. Treasury may reallocate some federal funds to help San Diego renters, but not until after October 15th.